Hello everyone, happy Friday. We are going to talk about a shape today that is not curved, it has sides and it has vertices, but it only has three vertices and three sides. Do you know what the shape is? It begins with the letter T. It's a triangle. Good job, boys and girls. A triangle has three sides and it has three corners or three vertices. A triangle, lots of times we see standing up like this, but just like a square, it can be turned. So here you have the point at the top, but I could turn it and now it's flat on the top and the point is at the bottom. So this is still a triangle, even though the point's not on the top. They're just turning it. So don't be tricked on this because you're going to have some here in just a minute. In class, we would be sorting shapes, but at home, you guys are going to go ahead and we're just going to draw some. I want you to watch me draw a triangle. One of the easiest ways to do this when you're beginning to draw triangles I think is to draw some dots and mom or dad can help you if it's hard for you. So I draw one and then two and then you can connect those dots. One, two, and three. That is a triangle. I am, I'm going to draw a different kind of triangle. I'm gonna draw two dots and then one out here. This is turning the triangle on its side. So it kind of looks like what we, um, if you know what a baseball pennant is, it kind of looks like that. And I also can do it so that my point is down, so it's flat on the top and down and up, okay? So those are triangles, three sides and three corners or three vertices. On this side, we're going to draw some shapes that are not triangles. That could be this shape, which is a circle. It could be this shape, which is a square. And it could be this shape, which is a star. A star has five vertices and it has a lot of sides on there. It's a tricky one. A square we know has four vertices and four sides. And a circle we know has no corners and no sides, only curves. Excellent. Let's move on to the next page. And before I do, really quick, here is that word triangles. T-R-I, tri means three. Angles, A-N-G-L-E-S, triangles. Three syllables, that's kind of cool. Three corners, three sides, and three syllables. All right, friends, on this next page, you've seen this before. Are all of these shapes the same? You're right, they are not. We are going to look for shapes that have three corners and three sides. If you want to pause, you can pause it and find them and then come back and check your work. I'm going to go ahead and put X's on all the shapes that are triangles because they have three corners and three sides. They do not have to all be the same size for the sides. So there's one, here's one. Is that one? No, that one has four corners. How about, here we go. Do you see any more? Here's one here, and there's one more triangle. Do you see it? It's right here. So go ahead and put an X on that one. This would be a circle and a circle. This would be a rectangle, a square, a square, a rectangle, a square, and there's that six-sided figure we talked about a couple days ago. Six sides means it's a hexagon, a hexagon. Okay, friends, on this page, this is where you're going to identify and color all of the triangles, three sides and three points. This is kind of a cool picture. I spy a tree and a house 
and the sun, and look at that shape in the middle of the sun. That is a six-sided shape called a hexagon. So there are three triangles here. So go ahead and color in your tree. All three of those shapes are triangles. This would be a rectangle, so we're not going to color that. You can use different colors if you'd like. The roof has two triangles on it, but the bottom, the house part, is a square. If you go up to the sun, that is a hexagon, but those little pieces around the outside, those are all triangles. So go ahead and color those in too. I don't have a yellow. I made mine red. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven triangles on this page. One more page to go. Page 520. We have some shapes in a row. We have to identify the triangles and put an X on them. Are you ready? Is this a triangle? No, it has four sides and four vertices and a triangle has three. Is this a triangle? It is one, two, three corners and one, two, three sides. So we'll put an X on that. Is this a triangle? No, that has curved surfaces. That is a circle. Is that a triangle? Nope, four corners and four vertices. How about that one? Yes, that is a triangle. Very good, boys and girls. Last and last, last and not least, I want you to draw and show what you know about triangles. So you're going to draw your triangle and you can make it stand up or be on its side. It doesn't have to be the same size for the sides, but it does have to have three sides and three corners or three vertices. And let's go ahead and try to write the word triangle. Triangle. Tri t t tr i ang t r i a n g l e triangle excellent job you guys are doing great with two dimensional shapes on our next lesson we'll follow up with a little bit more about triangles and then we'll move on you guys have a great day see you next time in math